Okay class, your final project will be a game programmed with Java. So, I had an assignment slash homework in computer science class where we had to make a game in Java. This was like the final project of the whole class and I made a game. However, we couldn't use any fancy game engines and we're only allowed to use Java itself. In addition, a library called ZAS. Whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. The library, well, was supposed to take care of rendering, collisions and stuff like that. But I thought to myself, you know Java, you know game design. That isn't enough of a challenge. I mean, I would call myself a genuinely talented coder, so I made an entire game engine in Java just because. Well, in 2209 lines of JavaScript and around 20 hours of work later, we have a game that could have been made in just around 100 lines in Unity or 500 lines with the SIS library. And now let's start with elaborating my suffering. First of all, I remember that Java does not have a vector class. And this makes the whole thing with making a game, well, really difficult. I do not want to always calculate x and y separately. No, that's no good. I want to have a vector class, which is, for those who don't know, basically an arrow, which is a certain length and direction, defined through a x and y value. Well, whatever. I made a freaking vector class myself. And it's this behemoth. It's not very complex, it's just a bit flawed. Because things that I could write in C sharp, like this, I now have to write like this. This is hugely annoying and escalated very quickly. But hold on, that's not everything. Because before we can even start making a game, there's so much missing. We need a camera object with movement, position, scale, and screen check, a game object class which holds a renderer that renders an image according to its world space position, scale, and rotation in relation to the camera. Also, every game object has a collider, a physics manager, and of course, logic for destruction. But that's definitely not all, no. We still need a random number generator because the randoms from Java are shit. We need an input system that collects all the necessary input from the player, a collider class which is either a circle or a rectangle, a collision manager with collision layers and all the logic to apply the transformation matrix of the object to the collider itself, then also calculating the collisions. A class which makes the game objects also physical, a particle system, a main function that initiates the whole process, and a system to display text. Alright, that's a lot, I know. Puts to show how much a game engine already takes care of for us. Also, remember that I could have just used the provided library. And no, I will not show you how I made these things, because it's way too boring and too much work. Also, who could possibly understand my mess pretending to be structured and well-designed code? Yay, now we can actually start making a game. Okay, fine. What game should we make? I always wanted to make a game inspired by asteroids, so let's make an asteroid clone. And the first step was obviously a spaceship. I did not want to make two spaceships for the player and the enemies. Yes, there are evil ships in the game. So I made one general class for all the ships. I made them in a way that they don't de-accelerate on their own. If you want to slow down, you have to steer in the opposite direction. Makes sense because there is no air friction in space. I also made some fancy particles for the ship's engine. And if you let the ship steer around one point, you get some epic drifting action. Next step was asteroids, not the game, the literal thing, now. So I made a system that spawns in all the asteroids around the player. They also use the physics system and collider that I made which make the asteroid bounce around and collide with each other. Nice. Now it was time to give the player some weapons. Laser cannon. I know, not very original, but it's just homework in the end. Some evil ships later and the basic game was done. But currently it is very boring, because we still don't have something like a goal or progression. That's when I made a score and an increasing difficulty curve. Based on the time that passes, the enemy count increases. And I also made a system for player upgrades. The player stat either increased in bullet count, bullet damage or bullet speed. And you gain points from destroying evil ships or destroying asteroids. Trust me, player speed is not beneficial. Okay, let's rewind. Yeah, it's rewind time. I made an entire game in Java with a complete game loop, cool graphics, and without any third party library. That required me to make camera object with movement, position, scale, and screen check, a game object class which holds a renderer that renders an image according to its workspace. Okay, okay, you get the point. I have to get a good grade for this, right? Two minus, because of bad documentation.